My name is Douwe van den Berg. I'm a Wim Hof Method instructor, movements teacher and uh, breath coach. The essence of what I try to convey is connection. So what I teach, the main elements are moving, connecting with the body, breathing exercises, meditation and connecting to nature and challenges, especially cold exposure. In a way I have a relationship with the cold. It's like a friend and a teacher. It might feel painful in your skin, but also you feel very light. It's like you're washed clean in the cold. Like your body feels alive, your mind feels very, very alive. Breath is really important for myself and in what I teach because in a way breathing is the key to connecting body and mind. If something changes about your body, it will have an effect on your breath. If you run and you're out of breath, if you are scared, it will have an effect. So whenever something changes, it will have an effect on your breathing. Also the other way around, by consciously changing the way you breathe, you can influence the way you feel, the way your body feels, and also your emotional state. I like to take people into challenges, because in challenges you can really test how to relax under pressure. Cold water can definitely be a challenge. You need to conquer yourself, you need to conquer your body, or at least you need to dare to step out of your comfort zone. Once you make that decision and once you are able to also relax outside of your comfort zone, it can give a lot of trust. Then you might even face other situations that you feel very uncomfortable with. Walking up the mountain, there are many different stages. In, in that sense, it's also a metaphor for any challenge and for life in general, perhaps. First, there's a lot of excitement and people don't know what will happen. And then at some point you get into a rhythm, you just walk. It's almost like a trance. You just walk and every step, every breath, you're there. And then there might be moments where you think, ah, okay, how long is it gonna take? And thoughts take over and you start to tense up and feel the cold and want to be warm. And then again and again, you need to just relax into it and trust that you can do it. And the top is very interesting because the top is not the end of the journey. The journey is only over once you're home, warm and safe. When people go home, I mainly like to give them a mentality and an enthusiasm to learn more about themselves, about their bodies, about their personality, about their minds. So mainly I want to, to give them this enthusiasm to explore. 